So this is the last word on the Chappelle thing. I promise. Like, I'm done after this, right? And um, because now he's going to meet with the community. So, like, a couple things happen. Number one, when, when, when a group is unrep underrepresented, you're able to trample said group because you can't hear them. You know what I mean? It's just, that, that's just it. You wonder why, oh man, no, why is no one talking about Haiti in Seattle? You know why? Because it's an underrepresented group. So you can just trample them. That's the way it works. A lack of representation makes you unheard, okay? But the transgender community has definitely been heard, you know, in regards to Chappelle special. And uh, the CEO of Netflix came out and made a statement. Then Dave Chappelle now says he's going to meet with a group of people and whatnot. The voices have been heard. So let me start here. People just want to be heard, dog. It's okay to to be do comedy, be a comedian, be offensive, and listen to some people that may have caught some shrap metal. It doesn't make you like any less weak. It doesn't make you a bad comic. It doesn't make you. It doesn't make you want to be. Can't, none of that matters. Okay. People have feelings. Jokes hurt. Everybody hurts. No, seriously, man, jokes can hurt. Jokes can be mean. Mean, hurtful jokes can be funny. Those are not mutually exclusive, right? You can make jokes about transgender people or black people or Spanish people, Indian people, Mexican people, uh, and it can be funny and it can be offensive, and that's just part of the game. You understand? That's just part of it. But if a group says they're offended, it's okay to hear them too doesn't make you good, bad, or indifferent. It doesn't make that. Your intent may have not actually been what happened. So you can be there for the education, right? You might have not actually meant to offend somebody, then find out you offended somebody, and it could change your perspective. I remember, I told, I think, I told this story on the podcast before. I'm in reruns. I remember I told this bit one time, and this is like when I first started performing in Washington. So you know, you're taking everything and you're just trying to be funny. That's it. So I remember I told this joke one time about like somebody committing suicide or something like that. So the lady came up to me after the show and waited for everybody to leave. And her and her husband, she came up to me and she said, suicide's not funny. Walked out. That was it. And then it made me reevaluate what I did because I never meant necessarily to hurt someone. I was just making a joke. I could have been like, hey, get over it. I was like, yo, yeah, maybe there's something here. Is this part of my act? Is this part of my, is this like something I really believe in? Is it that big of a deal? It's like, ah, whatever. I'll just stop doing it. And I just stopped doing it because she had that conversation because I acknowledged that conversation. It didn't make me any less of a comic. I'm dope. It didn't make me any worse just to listen to the people talking. What's the offense? And I see like, I've been paying attention like, Somebody asked me the other day, do you have an opinion on the Chappelle thing? I was like, you know what? I have a lot of opinions. And when it came out, I had no opinions. I watched it as a consumer and someone that does comedy. And I was like, oh, cool. And I filed it away. Because guess what? He wasn't talking about me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It didn't touch me any kind of way. It had to be a Jewish comic or a white comic, even black comics, talking about black people or black culture or or talking about something close to me, a kids or mullet, something like that, it could have struck something in me much different. That doesn't make me bad. It doesn't make me good. It makes me a human being. And when you don't have contact with something, it's hard to be empathetic towards something. I mean, the truth of the matter is there's not a single transgender person that I know of. There's not a single transgender person in my day-to-day -day life. Yes, I've had contact with transgender people or people that I know. Oh, that yeah, but there's not a single person who can teach me or share the plight of those people. And I'm sure they think those things are funny. I'm sure that, not those, I'm sure they think some of those things are funny. The same way some comedian can tell a joke about black people, some stereotypical thing about, and I could think it's funny. I can also think it's lazy, but I can also see the humor and I can also see it as being funny. But once we have this mutual agreement of respect, now we can make jokes. Thugs want to laugh too. You know what I mean? So there's really no harm. And, and you know, I would, glad is probably too strong because the truth of the matter is 
Chappelle's the only one in the situation not talking. So for me to like defend or accuse, it, it, it's not about that. It's this larger conversation of just caring about the next person. <laughs> this is a weird thing over the last, what, few years? This idea about caring about somebody that you may never meet, that, that means something. You know what I mean? So hopefully, I'll, I'll take it in jest that he's actually meeting with them to, to learn or explore or listen or whatever it is. Hopefully it's his own fruition and he just wants to know. Whether you can be canceled or not canceled, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should necessarily do it, even as a comedian. And if you decide to do something that is offensive and do it anyways, doesn't mean it ain't funny. It also doesn't mean it's not cruel, but it doesn't mean it ain't funny. It doesn't mean we can't have a good time snapping on black and white or whatever. Oh, oh man, everybody's everything. It, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that. It doesn't make you soft. It doesn't make you weak. Listen to the people, Doug. If someone says they were offended by it, you know, listen to them. Some of the concerns may be valid. Some of them may not be. But it may, it's no harm in just listening, man. People got feelings. They just, group wants to be heard. Transgender people, they don't want to be murdered. They don't want to be raped. They don't want to be portrayed as these evil, bad people. They don't want that, you know? So maybe certain speech that you may not think is offensive, maybe it strikes a chord in a certain fragment of people that thinks that's okay. It's always that way, but that's the way progress is made, right? When you're underrepresented, people just do whatever they want to do. If the transgender community didn't say anything, guess what? We'd have just kept it pushing. That's just the way it is. Okay, especially in this country is you make fun of the lowest race until black people say that we've had enough of that or until Jewish people say, ah, no, actually, that's not funny. We've had enough of that. You know, there are comedy specials that came out in the 80s. That's 40 years ago. It just wouldn't fly today. Jokes about HIV and homosexuality and in and, and eight there. There's comedy. It doesn't mean that wasn't funny. It doesn't mean that has to be canceled or thrown away but it does mean there could be some education there it does mean that it's not a bad thing it doesn't make him a bad person and i hope the conversation goes well and to all you open micers that were defending dave Chappelle, all you people getting your chest all out is over man they just it's too soft in this culture you're still not funny all that defending of Chappelle you did and now he's about to go meet with the community that you thought was no big deal so now that he's turned <laughs> turned his back on you, lack of talent having people, what do you go do now? You know what you do? Sign up on the list and get better. <laughs> Stop worrying about it. That was safe spaces too. To you people too. We need safe spaces. No, you, just conversation is enough. There, there, there's no need for a comedy safe space. There's no need for this PC not punching down. There's no need for that. If we have conversations, we can all have a good time, dog. I'd love to see the day when I, you know, transgender people come, gay people, white people, you know, Puerto Rican people, who is Afghanistan, the Taliban. I'd like to see a day where the Taliban could tailgate at Michelle on the pre-funk playlist. I'd love to see a day we could all sit down, you know, and <laughs> tell jokes about white people. <laughs> oh, man, it's the last show podcast. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into the last show. It's called The Last Show, because this may be it.